Hello, friends, and welcome to Laptop Media's channel. With the pace at which technological innovations are advancing, laptops are becoming more powerful, ultra-slim, smarter, and some with peculiar features we hadn't even imagined seeing. Today, we'll explore the top 10 laptops we're looking forward to in 2024. Without further ado, let's dive right in with the Lenovo ThinkBook Plus Gen 5 Hybrid, a unique two-in-one work laptop that looks quite standard at first glance. However, its display can detach from the lower part of the chassis to be used as a tablet. Impressively, Lenovo has incorporated dual processors and operating systems into this ThinkBook. When used with Windows, it's powered by an Intel Core Ultra 7. Once detached, the display becomes a standalone device running Android with a Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1. As odd as it sounds, I think Lenovo is making the right move here since Windows isn't the most user-friendly OS for touchscreens and tablets. From Lenovo's gaming division, we can expect the 16-inch powerhouse Legion 9i Gen 9. Lenovo claims this will be the most luxurious Legion laptop they've ever made. It features a carbon cover that's more durable and lighter than aluminum. And uniquely, each Legion 9, I will have a different carbon pattern, making it even more special. Lenovo is betting on an Intel Core Y913-980HX combined with an RTX 4090, a 165Hz display with 3.2K resolution, and mini-LED technology. Another cool feature is the built-in water cooling system. Another quirky laptop is the Acer Aspire 3D Spatial Labs Edition. This device is tailored for stereoscopic 3D content and works without the need for 3D glasses, like those you wear in the cinema. Acer uses eye tracking technology to make this effect visible. Thanks to Spatial Labs Go and Spatial Labs Player applications, you can easily transform normal 2D content into a 3D experience. In terms of hardware, Acer has opted for an i7-13-620H and RTX 4050. Yes, it's still an Aspireline laptop, so don't expect it to be super expensive. This is perhaps one of its biggest advantages. New technology that won't break the bank. Next up, let's check out the new additions to the Asus ROG lineup. Although Asus announced new configurations for some TUF Gaming and Strix models, the only laptops with a new design are the ROG Zephyrus G14 and G16. I'd say they look more mature as if they're made for adults, not just teens who want something shiny, flashy, and gamer-centric. Okay, they have light strips on the back, but the design Asus crafted is quite subdued. And even with the backlight, you won't look like you're 14 and playing Fortnite when you need to take your laptop to work. The G14 is 200 grams lighter than its predecessor and can be configured up to a Ryzen 989 45HS with an RTX 4070. These are also the first ROG laptops with an OLED display, with the 14-inch model featuring a 120Hz 3K resolution. The larger G16 is 450 grams lighter than last year's model and will be based on Intel processors up to Core Ultra 9 185H with an RTX 4090. Interestingly, the larger model has a lower 2.5K resolution display, but compensates with a 240Hz refresh rate. From Asus at CES this year, we might have initially thought the ZenBook Duo 2024 was just another in the series. But the moment we remove the keyboard and find a second 14-inch screen underneath, our jaws drop. It's a laptop with two identical 14-inch 3K displays and 120Hz refresh rate. It also has a built-in stand, so both displays can stand upright when used in this mode. And the coolest part is that the keyboard is battery-powered and can be used wirelessly when detached. This gives us almost a desktop experience on a portable device because we can detach or rotate it relative to the displays and place it wherever is convenient. It attaches magnetically to the lower display and also charges while there. The displays can be rotated into portrait mode if that's more convenient for your work. Also worth noting is that it weighs just a kilogram and a half, and its thickness for something that hides a display under its keyboard is only two centimeters. The Isis ZenBook Duo is one of the coolest devices I can't wait to try. Moving on to the next gaming beast, the MSI Titan 18HX. If you want to scream gamer and have MSI's most powerful machine, this is your pick. At the heart of the Titan, 18HX lies a powerful Intel Core i9-14900HX and an RTX 4090. Can it get more gaming-centric with mechanical Cherry MX switches and an RGB haptic touchpad? Yes, the glowing touchpad almost doubles the FPS. You might have guessed from the name that we're talking about an 18-inch, 3.6-kilogram opponent killer. But for such a large display, MSI has ensured high resolution, a 4K mini LED panel with 120 Hz, ready for Wi-Fi 7. 
but whether you're ready to move it from your living room table with its size and weight is another question. However, MSI's Big Beast isn't the only interesting thing from them this year. In the budget price range, they introduced the compact 14-inch gaming laptop, MSI Cyborg 14. We've seen Cyborg before, but not in this size. What's specific about it is the semi-transparent plastic on the sides and bottom of the chassis, as well as on the WASD and power button. It has the aggressive gaming look that usually goes hand in hand with high weight, but with its 14 inch size and a weight of just one kilogram and 600, the MSI Cyborg 14 breaks many myths about the standard gaming laptop. I can't wait to try it when it comes to our market, simply because it sounds like a good and affordable device that many people could buy. Let's move on to something a bit more familiar to most workaholics, the new Dell XPS 14 and 16. The design we saw last year in their 13-inch model is now available for the larger variants. XPS laptops feature a stylish appearance and ultra-light and thin chassis, but that has always been part of this line. New additions include large keyboard keys, a glass pad at the bottom where you'll find the touchpad, and light-up touch controls above the keyboard. The display bezels are incredibly thin, and the XPS 14 comes with a 3.2K resolution at 120 Hz while the 16-inch XPS has a 4K 90Hz panel. Last year, Dell went overboard with minimalism, not just in appearance but also in ports, where we could only find two Thunderbolt Type-Cs. Here, both variants have three USB Type-C Thunderbolt ports, which is a bit more generous on their part and will allow for more flexibility at work. But let's not forget Dell's gaming brand, Alienware. This year, we expect to see the new Alienware M16R2, which is a complete redesign of the old version. Not just in appearance, but including the cooling system, where they've managed to save a lot of size in the back of the laptop while still keeping good temperatures. You can immediately notice how much more compact the new M16R2 is compared to its predecessor. It also has thinner bezels, a larger battery, and an RGB touchpad. I told you earlier, backlighting boosts FPS, but not if you press the stealth button, which turns off the lighting from the Alienware logo and touchpad, and the keyboard starts to glow white instead of RGB. Great if you want to sit in Starbucks and get some work done, without the corner middle schoolers mocking you with pointing fingers and showing disrespectful gestures. The Alienware M16R2 will be available with an Intel Core Ultra 7 and up to an RTX 4070 with a 16-inch QHD display at 240Hz refresh rate. This year, HP also introduced a gaming laptop that, if you turn off the keyboard backlight, could easily pass as a work laptop for heavy tasks. That's the HP Omen Transcend 14. But why turn off the backlight when that's the most notable thing about its appearance? Usually on most laptops, only the letters light up, but this Omen has what's called pudding keys which just look uniquely cool. However, why do I say it would be great as a work laptop? The Omen Transcend 14 is ultra thin and super light at a weight of one kilogram and 600. And despite this, it can be configured up to an Intel Core Ultra 9 and RTX 4070, combined with a beautiful 14 inch 2.8K OLED display with 120 Hertz and super accurate colors. You'll be able to not only play, but also work on web design or video editing without any problems. So these were the 10 laptops for 2024 that made the strongest impression, at least on me. I'm really hoping each one will be available on our market soon so we can enjoy their innovative features and power. I'm Bobby. Don't forget to subscribe to Laptop Media's channel. And if you're considering buying a laptop, why not one of these? Check out this video first to help you choose. Bye and see you next time.